Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. On this episode of Travels with Phil, we're going to the headwaters of the Missouri River located in Montana. As you can see here, the Missouri comes all the way from Montana down to St. Louis where it joins the Mississippi. So let's take a look starting in Bozeman, Montana. We're going to travel about 30 miles to the northwest and you'll come to the headwaters of the Missouri River or the Missouri River State Park. Right here, Madison to the lower left, Jefferson River to the upper left, and then the Missouri River is where they come together. Travels with Phil continues to the headwaters of the Missouri State Park. Now, normally when I think of headwaters, I think of where the creek comes out of the ground and it starts, but this is where the Madison er, River, on the left over here, and on the right, the Jefferson River, merge or have their confluence. And it's at this point right here that the name becomes Missouri River. So the Missouri River starts right here. That's a Fort Rock area across the road over there. Ling Rock is just around the corner here. That's where there used to be a ferry. And there was a town here called Gallatin at one point. You could be ferried across the river heading toward Virginia City where the gold mines were. It was in this general area that uh, Sacagawea, as a small child, was uh, kidnapped by the Hidatsu, and that's how she wound up uh, with uh, Charbonnet and wound up uh, with, uh, with Lewis and Clark, helping to be an interpreter. And in this particular case guide, when she got back into this area, she remembered the areas here where the headwaters are, and uh, she was able to guide them as to which river went in which direction and which was the right way to go. And then further down toward the mountains up there, considerably further but still further down they eventually wound up meeting relatives of her and that's uh, pretty well almost what saved the uh, Lewis and Clark expedition and got them horses so they can continue over to the Pacific but it's right here literally right in front of you this is the start of the Missouri River let's move in a little bit closer we're standing right next to the river here that's the Missouri over to the right and as you look here, well, let's actually move over to the left. That's the Madison River coming in from the left, the Jefferson River coming in from the top, just a little bitty inlet there in the middle. And as you can see right here, the actual spot, according to the U.S. Geological Survey, this point is the start of the Missouri River, right there, right there in front of you. It continues east and south until it joins the Mississippi River near St. Louis. And I, I like this, how you can actually see an actual line where the two rivers merge together due to the force of them. Let me tell you the story of John Coulter's run. In 1809, trappers John Coulter and John Potts were captured by a band of Blackfeet American Indians. Potts was killed, and Coulter was given a chance to survive if he could outrun the Blackfeet. Coulter was stripped down to his bare skin and given a short head start. He outran his adversaries for six miles until he found a place to hide on the riverbank. Over a week later, he arrived bruised, sunburned, and emaciated at the Fort Raymond Trading Post. He traveled over 200 miles on foot. Several movies have been based on this event, lots of short stories, and today an annual run is held to remember Coulter, without the nudity, of course. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.